everyone and welcome to More to Explore. I'm Miss Natasha and today we're going to make pinwheels. Pinwheels are very similar to windmills and wind turbines. They all have parts which stick up at the top and those are called veins or blades. And I'll show you a photo of a pinwheel, a windmill, and a wind turbine. This is a photo of a pinwheel. A pinwheel turns with the wind. What helps it turn is the vein or blades which you see in the photo. The pink, the blue, the yellow, red, purple, green, and orange. And actually how fast that spins is how fast the wind is going. And that spin or moving air is transformed into energy to spin the wheel. This is a windmill. A windmill is an old way to generate power. The veins that turn in the wind generate power to grind grain into flour. This is a wind turbine, which has large veins that are rotated by the wind to generate electricity. Those veins are also called blades. These are the various pieces in your pinwheel kit, and they all have a purpose. In this video, I'll show you how to put everything together. First, I'd like you to decorate your pinwheel. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate one side rainbow. I'm going to use crayons. You can use markers. You can use paint. You can use whatever you want, whatever pattern, whatever colors. So go ahead and decorate your pinwheel. And I want you to go ahead and decorate both sides. I'm gonna do rainbow on one side and I'm gonna do black with some gold glitter on the other. Now that we're done decorating our pinwheel, I want to go ahead and construct it with you. So go ahead and punch out the pre-made holes that you see at the end of each of the veins or blades, and to take out the little hole in the middle out as well. Once you're done punching out all the little holes, Go ahead and grab the yellow stand, and that'll go straight into the soil once you're done. And go ahead and grab the cap and put it on top. Then put that straight through the center of your pinwheel and attach each of the veins or blades We're using the little punched out hole at the top and put it straight down the center. That way they attach to it. And you wanna go in order Take your time. If you need help from a parent or guardian, feel free to ask. Once you're done doing that, the next step is to grab the star in your kit. Now I didn't decorate mine, but you are welcome to decorate yours or color it and then add it to the center just like that. And finally, take the little cap in your kit and cap it. That'll secure everything in place. And you're all done. You can add it to the backyard, you can go outside with it, whatever you'd like. Hi everyone, so that was my pinwheel. I hope that you enjoy making your pinwheel. And remember, you can pick up the pinwheel kits from either the Sam Garcia Library or the Avondale Civic Center Library. Just come in and ask the desk for a kit and we'll have them while supplies last. Thank you for joining me, Miss Natasha, for more to explore. Have a nice day. Bye for now.